Hey everybody, welcome back. So, I'm just doing a little research here. I just realized that uh, my ray transmission, it was a pretty good one. 6k for that. But uh, since the last episode, I've been pretty busy. Let's check out our uh, overall production everywhere. So let's go entire cluster here. You can see we're going through iron like candy. I've had to basically increase my iron production. And uh, I did it a couple of clever ways. Actually, I think it's a really clever way. Um, because if we go over here, uh, basically we were making iron, right? And then we were making steel over here. Well, because I wasn't always using the steel and it backed up quite a bit, what I decided to do is fill up my iron through it. So basically my iron's going here as well. So, uh, it'll still obviously prioritize iron first or sorry, steel first because it will grab it, you know, obviously when it's going through it. But if it doesn't, uh, as in, you know, it doesn't need it, it'll just keep going and it'll go back into the iron one. So basically that works out really well for iron since uh, it kind of doubled it. Uh, I was using a lot of other materials as well. There was one that I was kind of using twice as much as well. I had to upgrade. I think that was glass here. Yeah, here's the glass itself. And uh, it's backed up these days, but uh, glass was kind of going a little crazy at one point. So if we look at iron, yeah, look at that. The Oh, that's not glass. That's stone. Stone. Where's the glass? There you go. 1300. But I think the glass required more stone, right? Oh, yeah. So it was two seconds to make it to stone. Uh, but either way, at one point, it was pretty bad. You can actually see where it's getting cut here. So it's... Eh. A little less than maybe even right now, so you could, you know, if you just had one running, you wouldn't have enough. But, uh, yeah, I had upgraded that. I also concreted most of the world, though there's patches here and there that I would have to fix here. But, uh, not a big deal. Um, some things got exposed accidentally, but that's alright. I can hide them if I want to. Uh, I put another layer of solar panels in the middle here because we were actually using a bit too much power. Uh, our capacity is quite high now. That's not because of solar panels. Well, it helps. Uh, but 375 of that is actually from these guys. I actually made the fusion uh, little guys here. Um, I did this off camera because we were kind of getting low on power and I needed it. I didn't want to sit around and uh, not have them. They sound cool though, don't they? Uh, so basically, these guys take your antimatter fuel rods, they slowly eat them up, and uh, uses it. Now, they are based on power load of your entire place, so the more load it requires, the more it uses it. Unfortunately, there is no function or feature or anything like prioritization when it comes to power usage. So, for example, uh, you know, we got the burners that are burning the excess stuff, right? So if we had those be, you know, our second ones, our number one priority would be solar panels. Those would be second. Or maybe you can even set those to number one if you're just trying to get rid of materials, right? And then set these to number three where these basically would have a power load of maybe maybe only 10% right now. And they will go quite slower at 10%. But unfortunately, that's not a feature that exists in the game yet. Uh, maybe one day. But uh, either way, so in total, uh, that's 75 times five so what is that 375 or so and uh, so that's just basically helping us out a bit and it's using some of this material and I thought why not it was already here and it was a pretty easy recipe if we check it out here it was um, uh, yeah basically just the titanium alloys the frame material which we made ages ago which we're going to use some today the annihilation constraint sphere which is a newer one and the quantum chip is which is a newer ish one as well um, but uh, obviously we're automating it for other stuff over here anyways so it wasn't too bad to make that. Uh, outside of that, I might have added more... Oh yes, I, I started uh, an actual uh, concrete foundation, sorry, uh, automation on uh, one of the planets. Basically, the one... Uh, I'll show you here. Uh, in uh, Shadir or whatever here, basically... Uh, one of the other planets, I think it was one of the ones that we weren't using. I'm not 100% sure. But anyways, um, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Uh, basically, it had iron and uh, stone quite a bit. I think like maybe several million of each. So basically, I set up uh, a little outpost there and uh, started to manufacture the foundation directly there. And then basically, it ships it directly here. So um, that is literally for foundation. Uh, and that's how that one works there. And uh, I, I did this as my top up because it holds holds a thousand per stack right so that's 60,000 per container so uh, that's that's quite a lot there uh, outside of that basically it was some cleanups here and there um, obviously as you can see I have more cleanup to do here so as time went on I finally was uh, eating or going through some of this stuff that I used to take for granted 
and then I would just go ahead and nuke some of it. So um, these guys, I know you'd be like, oh, well, how are these getting their their um, graphite? The way I'm getting it from it is right here. This had a couple slots in it, so I put graphite over here, and then I did this for prioritization, so it would continue eating uh, this originally. So. Um, basically that's pretty much what I've been doing. I put this in here eventually because we were running out on the, the basic materials here. And I even upgraded these a bit, put new machines in, put the blue ones in, things like that. Here's my copper coming in. But basically, the more we play, the more things are getting condensed magically. Uh, for my old setup only for the fact that uh, <laughs> Only literally for the fact that um, You know there was the smelters and the miners and everything else. So there you go more uh, I thought this would be good. So uh, I upgraded that one I thought I'd just do some stuff here. Uh, oh, and then the uh, veins utilization. Yeah, so the vein utilization um, basically our current uh one is uh, ore consumption is like 64.85%. I think somebody said they had around a level 19 or 18 or something like that. And they were around 35 or 30 to 35%-ish, it sounded like. So, um, you know, thinking about that, I mean, that's, you know, almost one third. So if you find a node, you know, that's a million uh, iron, that would be the equivalent of three. So we saw uh, that there were some nodes that were up to like, what, 500 mil? So that would be the equivalent of like 1.5 billion, actually be more than 1.5 billion at that point. But you get the idea uh, that uh, uh, you're going to be able to extend some of those resources. And uh, literally, that's probably going to be one of the few things you're going to spend a lot of your, your, your resources and time on anyways is just that. Because as you excel in this game, as you go further and further, besides maybe... Putting Dysons on every single star, you know, if that's what you want to do, go for it, right? But outside of putting a Dyson on every single star, uh, basically your other one is doing the unlimited research, which maybe last episode I didn't really realize there was unlimited research. Literally the infinity symbol gives it away, but you can keep leveling this stuff over and over and over. So you can keep getting these drones faster and faster. You can keep getting lower, uh, like better efficiency for mining. Uh, you can get better on this ray transmitters, you know, you can uh, drone engines, you can make them go uh, th three meters a uh, thing faster each time. Uh, you, your, your fuel here, this one was my favorite one, but obviously at 40k I'm going to leave it now. Um, but your communication here, two extra drones, I mean all this obviously helps so much and uh, makes life a little easier. So it's just been fun kind of putting uh, those points in there. My building uh, at this point, like when I'm building, even like solars or rapid building, pretty much I don't have to worry about my drones anymore. They're doing so damn good. Um, but uh, yeah, a lot of fun anyways there. Yeah, you can see your logistic vessel navigation speed's gotten even faster within the system, right? Um, I don't know. I've been paid attention to warp speed, so I don't know if it's keeping on getting faster or not, but that's fine. Um, but uh, And your mining speed is a big you know part of that too which is cool and when what's really really cool is you do have a statistic the universe uh, universe matrix uploaded so you can actually keep an eye and uh, just you know for for stat purposes achievement you know self achievements whatever you can continue on that so um, you know what I'm gonna go ahead and do the mission complete achievement because I think we're we're, we're good there um, since those other ones are infinite and we've done all the researches and unlocked everything at this point uh, you can't, you can't, you know, finish infinite at this point. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, get that done today. And then, um, we're also going to look at, uh, the launching and all that. So basically we can make these rockets. They're going to require deuterium again. Yes. Uh, we're going back to deuterium, which was a kind of a messy recipe before. Uh, so we're just going to require some work on that. And I like to work on basically getting uh, a Dyson sphere up in the sky, or at least that's kind of my goal. Um, I don't need to do it all at once. I can, you know, maybe hand do some of this or semi do it and then, you know, work on that automation. But uh, you're going to launch it with an actual silo itself. So the silo is this guy here. He actually consumes 18 megawatts of power while running, which is pretty badass. I like that. So uh, it requires quite a bit of com uh, components as well. Those I tend to make by hand. The other ones we're going to want to automate, but um, let's see what we have here. So our little lens things here, I usually thought they were like a seed or something, but they come in out here. Um, you just dropped a load in there. That sounded so dirty. Big load just dropped in there deep inside. Okay, here we go. 
So you have like nothing here. This is the downside with all this is uh even with all my upgrades, I just I never have enough of anything, right? So um you either gonna take it out of here and use it for your project, or you're gonna have to go ahead and uh just siphon off. So what I'm gonna do for now, temporarily I think, is I'm just gonna legitimately siphon it off and uh We'll just stack a bit of it just so I can use it for the handcrafting. And this is where, you know, things are getting, you know, it takes many hours to set up some of this stuff, you know, to a to a certain degree, right? Because <laughs> for a Let's Play anyways. I actually might have some extras over here that I forgot about. Um, okay, so we got those. We're going to need... Oh, yes, you know what else we're going to need? I think I have some at my uh, base anyways in the containers, but let's grab some here. Um, these I don't even think get used as often, so I gotta find them out. Here they are. These, I don't even know... Yeah, I think I've only ever so far used these for personal use, as in, like, crafting a building and stuff. I don't think I've ever needed these for anything other than that. So the good news is, we already have these. I'm gonna need these for the rockets themselves, so... Um, hey! That, that'll make life a little easier anyway, so that's cool. Let's grab a bunch more. Okay, and then we're gonna need the uh, CPUs now. Uh, the quantum processors. Now that sucks because uh, I still don't have enough of these being made and uh, <laughs> now we need them, right? So it's like, ah, crap. Friggin' green, right? Let's go ahead and grab these for myself. Good way to get started anyways, right? And you need 10 of these for each one, huh? See, now, they're being consumed by the greens as well, so... Basically, if you just do this, you know, you're being kind of a nicer guy. Want one more, please. There we go. 200, okay. We got those, and then, actually, I think I might have some lenses. Oh, I need the alloys. Now, the alloys, I don't use them that often, and I think these are the only alloys that exist here which has been using that sulfur from day one. So there is no more alloys that can be made when the sulfur goes out because we stopped making sulfur ages ago. But we have that planet with sulfur and I would rather probably just ship it in, honestly. I like the idea of shipping things anyways. So for fun, I'd probably just do that. Um, but uh, I just wanted to say that we hardly use it. So they haven't been, uh, you know, they, they, they've been in... They've been lasting a very long time just because of that, but uh, obviously things might change now that we're uh, going crazy with some of our crafting, I think. Oh, wow. There you go. Congratulations, Builder of the Great Civilization. You have completed the Dyson Sphere program. Builder of Great Civilizations. The primary mission of the Dyson Sphere program has been successfully completed with your efforts. The energy you provided is bound to make the homeland develop with high speed, and your figure will imprint with every step forward. This cluster has been activated. To remember your achievements, people light up a star in the Milky Way star map. Yes, it will always record your contribution to the forthcoming third level civilization. Now please rest a while, and then embark on the journey of the Sea of Stars again. That's cool. So what they're talking about, and I actually don't know if that works yet, and it might work, and, uh, you know, those might be the, you know, the the ones that right there. I really don't know. But basically the idea is that your, your, your galaxy will be brighter in the background. That's That was the idea. It was like some sort of leaderboard system. So, like, this could be, you know, Bob, and Bob is really bright over there, or whatever. And I just don't think that's implemented yet. Um, I could be wrong, but basically, the brighter the star in the background meant, like, that that's somebody's, like, super, you know, power contribution to the, uh, the, the whole Dyson Sphere and all that. Um, I'm guessing it's not in yet, but um, I really don't know for sure. I mean, it could be, and we don't know about it. Um, I do believe this game had some sort of, oh, you know, it, it does send, you know, anomalous data, blah, blah, blah. So it might be related to that. Then again, it might not be in there at all. By the way, our Dyson Sphere is doing pretty good here. I was actually going to expand this, and uh, and I will do it off camera probably, but I was going to put it on there, our furthest planet and uh, start putting them on the pole there too. But I've decided for now I wanted to work on the Dyson Sphere this time around. Uh, so I'll do that later. Uh, anyways, uh, before we got distracted by that guy, let's go over here. And yeah, so I had a bunch of lenses here. I thought I did. So there we go. That gives us a reason to hand build these anyways. 
Um, so, well, maybe a few. Depends on how long they take, actually. They take 30 seconds. Oh, that's not bad. So we can make 10 here, and then another 10. Let's do that. 20 of those. That's probably more than I'm going to even set up. I mean, they they launch one every, uh, every five minutes, so uh, that's going to be pretty darn good. Um, okay, so then we can focus back on um, the deuterium and everything else. So this is... Uh, this is going to be messy for this one. So where, where's our guy here? We're going to need to make this guy here. So this is where things get a little, you know, like, basically I'm going to have to spend a lot of time working on this. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, so basically we need these. So these are your processors. This is the, uh, yeah, the Dyson Sphere component. So we want to get those worked on. And basically those will create those guys and then you will create your uh, ship out of those guys which then you'll use deuterium and then more of the Dyson Sphere components so basically Dyson Sphere components is the the number one thing it wants us to make so let's look into that now I don't know if we're gonna be low on any materials I mean I didn't really think this through so we might be we'll, we'll look into it after um, and then we're gonna be using this the, the good news about the deuterium is this is all deuterium this has been a byproduct, well, a byproduct product of us trying to use up our hydrogen because we have too much hydrogen. And so, yeah, well, the good news is we'll have something to use it for. So, um, so that'll be the, for the deuterium. And then uh, the CPUs, well, I'm going to have to do those, the quantum ones. And then, uh, yes, yeah, so where's our sales? Here's our sales. So I'd rather not screw up our sales because right now... This has to be expanded anyways, eventually. Um, I have expanded this a bit off camera. I also upgraded them, a lot of these, to the blue machines now. So these are the uh, the 150% basically. So, uh, so it makes a sale within 22.5 minutes. Uh, or sorry, uh, makes 22.5 per minute per all of those guys. There's like 20 plus there probably. So that's pretty good. And the sales are coming in here. They're jam-packed actually. We are... We're pretty much maxing our sales, or maybe we're around the. I'm not sure how how good we we are there, but either way, we're gonna tap into that. We can increase that production. So there's the sales done, and then um, we're gonna need the CPUs, which they're also already in the network. So the only thing that's not in the network is these guys here, basically. So the frame material. So. Are you full? No, you have just oil. Wait, oil? Oh, you're sending out oil. Oh, okay. So what I think we can do with this then is we'll just uh, change this over. Oh, yeah, they added uh, some sound effects a bit ago. <laughs> Forgot about that. I, I play with the sound off a lot, so I don't hear them. But, uh, yeah, they added them. I, I like them. They're pretty cool. They're kind of comical sounding, though, which is a bit weird. Okay, so there you go. And we're going to go ahead and add you guys into this. And then we're going to give you... You know what? You can just take full bots. There you go. And you're going to be supply perfect. Okay. And then I think what I'll do is... What are you guys using anyways? What is this? Is this is... Oh, that's the silicon? And then you're the... Oh, this is the graphite. The carbon nanotube. Yeah. Eh, the carbon nanotube is something I don't produce a lot of. And that's what these guys are making, and damn, we're going to need more of those over time. Okay, whatever. So, these guys feeding to those, you know how that's never kept up really well? Well, now we're going to have to do even more of those, so meh. Okay, uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and upgrade these now. So, it's time to give them a nice upgrade here. There we go. Actually, we should probably do it this way. There you go. And there we have it. And then let's go ahead and... Oh, I forgot this whole copy and paste. Oh, wait. No, I don't have to do that because we're doing it this way. That's why I do it this way. So I don't have to do that whole pasting weird thing. I can just copy the full building instead. I don't like the other way. It's like I avoid it at all costs. There we go. And 
then there we go. And then uh, how are we gonna do this? Probably that, I guess. These obviously will be a little faster than what we had before. I think they made a fix some of the collision masks with some of the power lines and stuff like that too. They're a little... Well, they're still there, but I think they're a little less annoying. I'm not sure about the other ones, of us, the, the satellite ones, because they were pretty damn annoying. So, okay, that's working. Now, obviously, like I said, the problem here is going to be literally the throughput of all this. These guys don't have a really good throughput, so that's something I'm going to just have to expand eventually. And uh, we'll just have to live with what we have for now anyway. So there you go. Uh, I'll leave this here for our personal use then, uh, because uh, I could get rid of it. But I'm feeling like that's probably not a good idea, so... Oh, and you can go ahead and push these in here, I guess. There you go. No point. Oh, I have another layer. There you go. Okay. So those will go in there. Perfect. So basically, now all we need to do is kind of bring them together and build this. So, um, it doesn't really matter where I do it, just as long as it's not going to be in the way of everyone else. Uh, this is going to be our deuterium thing over here, at least. I want to expand this over time for that. You know what? Over here is probably fine. Let's do that. Okay, so let's put a building right here then. This will match it up for fun's sake. Okay, so we're going to have... Um, okay, so we're going to have you guys coming in here. Where are you? And have we'll just do this in the how many we need three of each actually so it doesn't really matter so have you guys coming in here we have the CPUs coming in here and then we're gonna have the sales coming in here and these are gonna be all demand based there you go and then we'll give you some drones okay your power too good okay so that'll be uh, slowly storing up and then yeah we can go ahead and make these guys so how long, how fast do these craft, by the way? Because if they're pretty slow, eight seconds, actually. Oh, you're going to need three, though. Hmm. I want to see what I'm looking at here if I bring this, like, right here. So if I go ahead and be like, okay, I'm going to craft this, blah, blah, blah. What am I looking at for the belts here, I guess, on the furthest one, I guess? Just wanted to see if it can. I like it all in one if I can do that, but two trips per second. Yeah, that's good because if it takes the. Well, actually, this will be faster though. Um, eight seconds is going to be less than that, right? But uh, two trips, you need. Yeah, no, it's still going to be fine. Okay, perfect. I just thought I would like to. Uh, did we do it right? I guess we did. Okay, there you go. And then. There you go. There we have it. Okay, that'll work. I'll just do five for now. It's not like we can keep up with this at all. And it saves us having to spend, you know, half the episode just building it. <laughs> okay. Then we'll have you guys coming out of here. Then, uh, okay. I'm going to go ahead and put one of you guys in here somewhere. There we go. And there we go. So we're building the components there for that. Awesome. Yeah. So what's the... Uh, 11.3 per minute, which is pretty cool. So, what is that? It's 11.3. I was going to do some weird math. I forget what I was even going to do. I don't know why I was going to do something there. Anyways, um, but yeah, so we have a bunch. Oh, and then you got like, yeah, 60, I guess 66, 67-ish. 
of those per minute, so that's not too bad. So then what we're gonna do is obviously take those and create ourselves the other part here, which is then the rocket itself. And that's where things kind of go eh, a little eh. Uh, let's just put it a little eh anyway, so I don't, I'm not sure yet. Um, but let's take you for now and just bring you all the way over here, somewhere stupid. Like I said, I'll want to expand this probably, things like that, but we'll bring it over here. And then we're going to need the deuterium. So the deuterium, I was thinking of doing it over there. And then basically the uh, processors, well, they'll just ship in because we're going to have to work on more of those. Um, so um, it's up to you. I wonder if I want those for anything else anyways. I might put them in here. I mean, it doesn't hurt because I can put them in here as a supply. It doesn't mean I actually have to supply them, right? So that's, that's the beauty about this. Um... So, uh, yeah, we're going to put in, sorry, what part did we just make? We made you. Yeah, and then we're going to have deuterium coming in here. Now, my whole deuterium thing, oh, actually, did I shut down that whole deuterium thing? If I didn't, that might help too. Um, and then the quantum CPUs, wherever you guys are. There you go, quantum chip they're called, actually. So we go demand and demand. Yeah, I think we might have taken that out, unfortunately. I don't even know where it... Oh, gosh. Now it's harder to figure out some stuff now that it concretes everywhere. It's like, uh, where did I used to run this base? My oil here. There it is. Okay, so we used to, a long time ago, at the end of this... Was it the end or is this the top? I think this is the top, dude. So at the end of this... <laughs> Uh, it's hard to figure out what, what is what. Yeah, we used to run it over here, right? The deuterium. But all that was taken out of there. So, no, I'll have to come up with a whole new deuterium setup, basically. Which, that's fine. That's that's not even hard to do, honestly. It's just... I'll leave that for off-camera for fun. Okay. So, um, not you, buddy. You over here. Let's give you some power. I don't think those had little sound effects before. Okay, so we're gonna... Okay, so we got those. We don't have you, and we don't have you because we're not putting you into anything yet either. So that's the bloody annoyance here. I'm just wondering what the best way to deal with this part is. Grab them by hand for now, I guess, is the best way. So let's go over here. Start over here first, I guess. Grab as many as you can. And then what you can do is you can just sit there and grab the rest. There you go. Or what we can do is uh, we can set up something temporarily here too. That'll probably be a better idea. Obviously, it puts a delay in uh, you know whatever the things we were using it for. But I think right now we can kind of excuse it. So there you go. And then the deuterium itself, we have a crap ton of it. You remember, there's a chest somewhere around here. So if we can find our chest of deuterium, ah, here it is. We can go ahead and dump that into that building at least, so that'll help us there. There you go, and then we can put our CPUs in here, there you go. That'll help. Okay, and yeah, for these rockets, it's two of each as well, by the way, so. Uh, so, one, two, and three. And now you know I have a lot of work to do. Upgrading and getting this stuff going more. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, same idea, I guess. Wherever you want to do it. Let's do it this way this time. And, uh, yeah, so let's go ahead. One, two, three, four, five. Obviously, the deuterium one is going to run out like candy. <laughs> okay. There we go. Oh, did I not set the thing on there? No, you didn't. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and we'll set you as these guys, which is awesome. How long do you take anyway? Six seconds. Wow, you guys are fast? Damn. 
Um, copy, copy, copy. Well, they're all already copied. Paste, I meant. The word paste was what I meant to say. And then I think what I'll do temporarily anyways for these ones is then I'll just go ahead and store them in a container. Like literally this will just be all hand fed for now. And then we'll go from here to here. And then we'll go from here. There you go. There you go. And then before we start this, I just want to go grab a bit more, well, the, the CPUs anyways, or the processors. Pretty much out for the deuterium part anyways. Oh, not a lot in there anyways. Boo hoo hoo. Oh, here's some more deuterium actually. There you go. Hey, it gives us a use of our old deuterium. I wouldn't use it in a, at all ever again, basically, but hey, we need it for this, so that's all right. Okay. And then, uh, imagine they're, they were evil and wanted to use the hydrogen. <laughs> no, that would be too evil. Okay. Oh, this is getting, uh, wherever I did the lens thing. Oh, yeah, that thing. Ah, you know what? I'll let it fill up. It'll shut off on its own when it's done. Anyways, okay, so let's go ahead and put you in here. A few of these guys in here. Okay. And then let's just turn this on. I just wanted to kind of see it speed up here and do its thing here. There you go. I'm interested to see. Yeah, you guys keep up just fine. Cool. And there you have it, my friends. A small carrier rocket. Now, I don't know if this must be on a certain latitude, longitude, all that fun stuff. Or you just go bloody launch it into space so um here is our rockets by the way we we made these rockets we actually haven't even tried it yet so uh, they're regular just insert basically it looks like so what we could do here for fun is maybe and now i don't know if it has an effect um and this is something i actually don't know i don't know if it matters if these are uh you know where these are placed you have built a vertical launching silo now you can use it to construct the main structure of the Dyson Sphere. But before that, you need to enter the Dyson Sphere panel to finish planning the Dyson Sphere nodes and frames. After the plan is completed, the vertical launching silo will automatically launch small carrier rockets loaded with Dyson Sphere components to build the nodes and frames. Each rocket provides one structure point, and you can use the vertical launching silo panel to master the required structure points. I might not actually need to go as crazy as I think on here, um, but it's all right. We are going somewhat. Uh, I don't want to have these on yet, so we're going to leave them alone right now, and we're going to do just that, basically. So if we open our Dyson Sphere here, um, you can see we have 45,000 swarms in space, which is pretty badass. Okay, so basically, uh, you can add new layers here. So you can say, oh, I want a new layer here. Um, and then you can say, okay, what does the layer, like how thick is it, orbit radius, you know, things like that. I'm not going to bother doing that. I'm just going to use the layer that, you know, like the default uh, layer that they give you, right? And basically you have a whole guide here. So uh, pretty much it's pretty, it's pretty simple. You've got some changes here you can do. So you can set it to this one. Uh, this one is probably going to be the easiest one to build because it's large and they're easy to snap point. This one is a lot more details. You can still spread them around, but I think this one would be the fun one to do. So that's what we're going to try. And then basically you just click one of these and you just start making your your grid here so you go from point a to point b basically as far as i know oh i did not realize those would be too far apart though and interesting i never i've never played with this i just i played with it like for like two seconds honestly interesting so this can't actually make it all the way there i didn't think i thought it could to be fair so i'm guessing that's halfway so you be the full yeah okay so if this is the case, I might actually need to change this up a wee bit. Oh, interesting. You can't go there as well. Hmm. That's interesting. It also makes an uglier uh, setup here for this point. Weird. I wonder if you can go from there. No, the nodes are too close, huh? 
Oh, okay, you know what? I might go with the grid style then, and screw that. I think that might be easier for me. Okay, we'll go for a plain and boring style then. So basically what we're going to do is we're just going to go and... Uh, so here's the center, right? So we're going to go one here. And basically... Oops, I did not mean to do that. I don't think there's an undo button, unfortunately. And I don't think you can copy and paste these like you can with buildings. I don't even know if there's a way to stop the orbiting or movement or whatever. Maybe something. Oh, there's the run game option. <laughs> so you can literally pause the game to make it easier by uh, stopping the star from moving. Okay, that's kind of funny. Now these are, are they flat? No, they're rounded. Okay, they look funny, don't they, though? Do you think it changes it from the uh, one to the other? Let's try it. So we'll use the one that's rounded. Oh, yeah, it definitely looks a little less derpy. Okay, that's cool. We're learning, we're learning. So let's do that then. So, um, yeah, maybe that's the way to go. Like I said, this is all new to me. I'm just trying this out. So basically, you put those together, and you form a panel. This is like a panel. And then you take this, and you fill it in here. So, oh, I guess there you go. Lit up. And that's it. You have finished the Dyson shell planning. Once nodes and frames are done construction, the Dyson shell will put solar sails to use automatically. Each solar sails provide one cell point, and you can click the shell to view the total number of cell points required. There you go. So, as far as I know, each of those ships were sending up, I don't know how many cell points they do. I thought they were going to be like, you needed a ton each, but the way it's showing, if not, uh, this might be a lot easier than I ever expected, to be honest. That's 12 points already. So, 14? So, is that 14 launches? Because if that's really the case, this is a little bit easier than I expected. There you go. Here, I was, like, overthinking this. Oh, I'm going to automate my ships into the massive hundreds of mounts here. And it sounds like maybe this is actually the easier part of it. But we'll find out, obviously. And then here you go. You got those ones and you got these ones. Okay. And then basically, because um, what your solar sails do is they, they, they basically fill in here from my understanding. So we got 24 node points in total. And that's just this part. Obviously, I'm going to cover the whole star eventually. But let's see what happens here. Oh, I see. You just got to get in the middle of it basically where it highlights it. I see. There's a You're, you're kind of going close to it and it's showing you where you're missing, I guess. There you go. Still looks good to me, so there you go. Um, obviously, there's nothing there yet. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's let's try this out. What are you missing, by the way? Um, you got a bit more deuterium. You're missing those components. Oh, okay. And then obviously CPUs are starting to be an issue. I'll just grab a bit more of those, but obviously the other components are slowing down anyway. So, meh. Uh, CPUs, where are you? Right here. So yeah, I think I might have thought this was a lot different than uh, this and went a little crazy, but who knows? It's all part of the game, right? So here we go. Um, oh no, we're putting you in here. Sorry. Um, putting you in here. There you go. Okay, and then let's have these come out. We won't uh, set it up yet. I just want to get it started. So I guess I'm going to have to... How do you want to do that? Just probably a splitter at each one of them, I guess? Sure, I don't know. I'll just do it here then. Boom. Boom. I don't know if I did that one in the same spot, to be fair, I think so. Yeah, and then... Those look all right. Those look good. Except... Oh no, I think it's fine. Okay, that should work. And then we'll go ahead and uh, there you go. The only downside is the amount that we're making here and what can fit on this belt. <laughs> Might not even fit all this properly, but we'll see here. Oh, and there's uh, another one we have to jump here too. And then you can just go up to here. 
pretty sure the belts hate you when you do that, or the, uh, sorry, the sorter things when they come, but I'll just have to live with it. There you go. Might have been just being, actually, maybe you can run these under here. No, they don't like that. Okay. Could have done a zigzag belt, to be fair. But I'll do it this way. That's, that's what we've chosen now, so here we go. We're gonna, yeah, that works. Not even as ugly as I thought it would be. Okay, and then, um... Set these in here, because I'm kind of derped up with this. Okay. There you go. And then, basically, what we'll do here is uh, we'll pull these out now. Yeah. You guys excited for this? This is gonna be, yeah, our first time. This one's so dirty. Oh, here they go. Oh, that is cool. They don't have the sound effects for it yet though, apparently. So they're gonna launching, so five a minute. Or five, yeah, five a minute. Okay, and they move pretty fast too. Faster than I can even keep up, unfortunately. There you go. Well, they're kind of doing some crazy movements, but that's neat anyways. I don't even know how far away these are considered. Is it how close to it? Oh, it's a lot further than I expected. I thought it was going to get a lot closer. There they go. And there's the other five. Okay. Never mind. There, there, there requires a lot more per node, I think, than I, th than. Okay, maybe this isn't so bad. Well, we're in orbit now, by the way. So here's the question now: Are these not in orbit? Is it because I'm too close to? I'm orbiting faster. Never mind, you need a lot more per node, I guess. Okay, so this is a lot bigger than I thought. Whoopsies, okay, so you do need a lot more then. I'll have to look up how much per node. That's all good. I hope they make a panel first, but they might not. I have a feeling they're not going to. And they don't move. They're not orbiting or anything. They're just staying there. So I can't actually... Uh, I mean, obviously, I can fight against it a bit. But, uh, yeah. Is it getting slightly fatter each time? <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so let's see what it looks like on here. So, yeah, they're building this component here first and this one here. Okay, I don't know if you can say I want this prioritized, but they might go off and do their own thing, right? Obviously, so where are you guys? Oh, here you go. So maybe I should be considering that right now. Oh. It's expanding now. So it might also be a distance thing potentially too. Interesting. So obviously I'm going to have to put a little work into this. There's this is not going to happen, you know, in this episode boom done, you you know, you're gone. Uh more than likely we're going to run out. Of little ships anyways by the time this is done. But that's pretty cool though. Watching those ships coming in. So. There you go. How cool is that my friends? Yeah sorry. I mean all this obviously is all new to me. So it's not like I've ever uh, done any of this. So I forgot we're the moon now. 
that looks like a moon because of... <laughs> it was easier to find the planet that looked like a colorful, you know, Earth-like planet, but not anymore, so... Okay, so where is our... our little site here that we just made? Over here. So we were kind of near it, and then I ran off, didn't I? There you go. Okay, there it is. So we got still quite a few in here, but I don't know if it's going to be enough to uh, to get it up there, to be fair, to uh, get what we need. They might start going to other spots, which I'm fear worried about too, so... Swarms are moving in position, I think. Or is that just like random stream? No. I think some of the swarms are actually going in to fill in the spot, I guess? What the? So I, I heard the swarm makes like this part here, but as far as I knew, this wasn't even ready yet. So I didn't think anything was going to happen, but they're doing something. It even says that the whole thing is making... I guess this makes power, so the node itself makes power. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what's going on with these guys, but they are making some sort of form here, so... Either way, it's going to take a while to fill all this up, so... Yeah, it was a little bit more uh, on the complicated level than I expected, but that's cool. I'm trying to see what happens here with these guys coming in here, so... I, I don't know if they're filling in these parts, like they're filling the frame. That might See how that one frame looks like it's almost filled in here? Well, actually, that view changes it, so I'm not sure. They're so damn close now. Here we go. Something's gonna happen here in a second. It's like I, I wish I could move the rotate, stop the rotation, but not stop. Oh, they're going right into the. Oh, they're feeding into the thing directly. Oh, there we go. Oh, and look at it increase the uh, the output now. So are you like interlacing between these two points or these two points potentially then or? wonder if you'll even see it or if it's just like a magic show in the sense that it'll just be like, boom. Okay, well, there you go. It's it's eating your sails anyways into it. That's pretty cool. Oh, no, there it goes. It made, uh, there they are. They're checkerboarding through this now. Oh, that is so cool. So it's working. It is actually working. So it's probably filling in the uh, the border it has. So even if it screws up and starts doing over here or something like that, it looks like it's going to start filling in there. So there you go. You did get the treat. You did get to see what happens. So there you go. It's starting to fill those in. So we're making already 17.5 megawatts with that. Obviously, my other thing was producing 1.68 gigawatts. But I imagine once this fills in over time, uh, it'll be awesome. So this is recycling. Oh, yeah, look at this. Look at the, how cool that is. This is actually recycling and using up your current swarm, basically, into um, this setup. So There you go. Very cool. Well, there you go. So, well, obviously, over a very long period of time, this is going to get bigger. And uh, it'll just keep going and going and going. That is so cool. Okay, well, there you go. You got to see it. At this point, now you just it's going to take, you know, 
many hours, many days potentially to fill this all up. But uh, yeah, basically I'll work on some of this, get some of the automation going and, uh, you know, because we're going to need them. There you go. Most of our ships are done anyway, so. The launches are pretty cool looking though. Um, no sound effects yet though. They look really cool, yeah. Can we view anything? Where? Oh, I guess it's over here, so no. Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, you can start seeing it in the sky there. I wanted to see it from the planet, actually. Let's go back. Ah, I hate planet. Flying. When it's on the planet, it kind of screws up on me. There you go. Yeah, there you go. So you can see them building it. That is so cool. Um, I just got to get the right angle now to take a picture, maybe. There you go. That works. There you go. Very cool. Well, you can you can even see there the uh, little uh, checkered whatever. So yeah, it's it's definitely working. That is so cool. So twenty six point yeah twenty six point nine megawatts. Very little energy so far, but obviously once you fill that all in, uh, it's a constant amount of energy. Hell. Compared to the swarm we have, we might not even get as much energy. Uh, maybe, maybe not. I'm just saying, you know, 27%. Uh, I, I wish there was a percentage. You could see, like, how filled it in. But honestly, I would say, no, we definitely get, you know, multiple gigawatts out of this, I'm sure. But uh, I'm just saying, compared to this 1.71 gigawatts, which is caused by that full ring, which is no a nonstop constant, uh, you know, we're constantly... Um, we're, we're, we're literally constantly shooting those up, right? So. That is so cool. I love the, the ships coming in. There we have it, my friends. So there you go. The Dyson Swarm. There it is. Look at that. Beautiful. Anyways, my friends, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. And, uh, yeah, I got a bit of homework to do now, uh, getting uh, some of this stuff uh, automated and stuff. But uh, either way, thank you so much for watching. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, all that fun stuff. And we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.